Santa Clarita's Hometown Station, AM 1220 KHTS. Hey, make sure you go to hometownstation.com. We're talking uh, Life Tank, and it's uh, emergency preparedness, really, and uh, it's uh, water storage in your house, but it's kind of uh, a, a fancy water storage. It's really, uh, it makes things simple, uh, and you can find out more information. Go to lifetanks.com or give them a call, 855-422-3131. Uh, we talked about um, the Life Tank itself. Uh, and maybe saw, uh, some traditional water storage versus uh, life tank. Now I want to talk about uh, with Dave Fukar, and um, I want to talk about, we just had an earthquake, because, you know, earthquakes happen in Southern California. Uh, what are the first things we should do when an earthquake strikes? Because water is obviously, it, uh, water is probably one of, if not the most important thing when it comes to uh, emergency preparedness and, and being ready for that. Right, right. Uh, wa water definitely is, uh, if not, as you say, the most important thing, uh, one on of the most important things. In fact, uh, should there be an interruption in water, we can't live more than three days without water, so it becomes very important. But um, when an earthquake occurs, uh, and we know that it will, um, in fact, uh, I was looking this morning at the uh, USGS uh, website, and I, I was actually uh, very surprised at how frequently uh, earthquakes uh, occur. Um, in 1994, when we had the North Northridge earthquake, uh, that was a 6.7 uh, earthquake, uh, and uh, we've been preparing for a 7.8 or greater, which we predict will happen at any time. So, so should we have a large earthquake? Um, I mean, there are some fairly obvious things that we should be reminded of. The first thing you want to do is check for injuries. Uh, in the uh, in the shock of an earthquake uh, and uh, the adrenaline that's going on, uh, you may not realize that there are injuries. So you want to check for those those first, and and then help others who are injured. And these are these are fairly obvious things. But again, in the uh, in the aftermath in the, of an earthquake, you, you have to be in uh, the moment. You're you're not thinking about that <laughs> exactly. In the in the moment, you you have to be level headed and uh, and think about what steps you need to to take in place. The other thing is to avoid uh, other injuries. So uh, don't rush down the hall and run through the glass. Put on some good shoes and long sleeve shirt uh, to to avoid some other injuries and then you want to immediately check your utilities. Uh, you want to check gas, uh, smell for any fumes. Uh, fortunately, uh, uh, gas is, uh, our, our gas supply does include uh, an odor so we can tell if there's breakage. Uh, check the electric lines for only fallen lines, uh, see if the water has been interrupted. So um, any issues with those and, and you need to know how to turn those, uh, those services off. Um, one thing to be careful of, though, is not to turn them back on uh, without uh, professional help or be in ensure that, uh, that you do uh, know um, how to properly uh, ensure that there's no leaks uh, when those are restored because fires after an earthquake often cause more damage than the earthquake it itself. Uh, so those are sort of the, uh, the first things that you need to do and then turn into a radio. You'll, you'll like this plug. Uh, <laughs> turn into a, into a radio station or a TV station to get the latest uh, news about uh, what's going on, uh, prepare for aftershocks uh, and all of those things that may occur. So be turned in, tuned in uh, to, uh, to find out the latest uh, updates. What are what are some of the most important things we can do right now to prepare for an earthquake? Yeah. Well, well, naturally, I'm going to talk about water. Yeah. Uh, but, it, but in addition to that, uh, a first aid kit. Uh, you really need to have a first aid kit on hand. Uh, and check if you do have a first aid kit. I, I uh, have to admit that I've checked my emergency supplies, and uh, and there are clothes that don't fit me anymore. Uh, there are first aid supplies which are out of date. So check those things and make sure they're current. Uh, then uh, you want to make sure that you have batteries and flashlights available. You don't want to be wandering around if there's a gas leak with candles or, or other yeah. flames that could cause more problems. Make sure that you have a radio and, uh, and clothes on, on hand so that uh, you can protect yourself. Uh, another thing that's important is to have a contact person. If you're separated from your family, you want to know how to get a hold of them. We, we personally have a contact person in Nebraska uh, that we all have the number to call and contact so we can find out where family members are and uh, ensure that everyone is safe. Uh, do that uh, at an appropriate time because the, uh, the phone lines or cell phone lines will be uh, very crowded. So in addition to that, you really need to uh, ensure that you have a supply of water. Uh, water is the first supply that you need to be concerned about. As I, as I mentioned, you can only live for three days without water. Uh, so uh, food, we can live up to three weeks without food. Of course, you should think about a food, uh, food supply, but ensure that you have water first. 
and then look for uh, backup power sources and backup food. Where do where, where okay? So we don't have any food water stored. Where can I find water if I don't have any stored? Yeah, that that is a, a tough question because in modern homes, uh, the availability of water is actually being reduced very, very quickly. Uh, but the places are are to look. Uh, we don't like to think about it, but the uh, the back of the toilet, not the bowl. Uh, yeah. But the back of the toilet. But those are low flow toilets now by regulation, so there's not very much water there. Uh, but that's the first place to look. Also, if you have a traditional water heater, again, traditional water heaters are being replaced for uh, for efficiency purposes with tank water heater. So, but if you do have a water heater, uh, you can look to a water heater uh, for water. You can also, uh, if water is available, quickly fill your tub. Now, all of those, uh, all of those supplies may or may not be available, but if you do use that water, it is recommended that it be purified, uh, that it be treated appropriately, uh, so that it is safe to drink. Another another um, resource for water for folks that have the luxury of having a pool, uh, it's quite an investment as a backup water supply. Uh, <laughs> But that water can be used for some purpose, but not for drinking. Yeah, uh, I was gonna it say. needs to be again uh, purified and treated before using it for drinking or any sort of first aid issues. Uh, and again, uh, what we've tried to do is provide a backup water system that eliminates those needs. Excellent. Uh, I, okay, so how long should somebody expect to uh, be without services after an earthquake? Yeah, the best uh, the best thing I can say about that is to quote Lucy Jones, who is the Caltech seismo- uh, seismologist. I think a lot of us are familiar with seeing her on TV in the uh, the wake of earthquakes. And she says, "We're going to lose all of our natural gas lines, all of our water lines, many of our power lines, and most of our transportation system. We're going to have have a disruption to our infrastructure in a way that is going to take months." to recover from. So as I said, we recommend two to three weeks. Worst case scenario, it could be uh, could be much longer. So yeah. um, the day to prepare is today, not tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Dave, thanks for coming by. I uh, appreciate you coming by. It's you been can go fun. To, you, you can go to lifetanks.com to learn more about it, 855-422-3131, or you can email them at info at lifetanks.com with any of your questions. That you guys have an, uh, a frequently asked question section there at on your website. So, uh, we do. but appreciate you stopping by and uh, and it, this is a fantastic thing. It it seems easy. You just hook it up and and don't worry about it. So that's that's what we've tried to do. The objective was to take away the work to help people uh, ensure that they're prepared uh, with all of the without all the side issues. Excellent, uh, Dave. Thanks again for stopping by. You're welcome. Local Thanks news coming up next on AM 1220 KHS. Make sure you go to lifetanks.com. Again, give them a call, 855-422-3131.